Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to use the loop builder with the dynamic content using advanced custom field. Let me show you an example of the loop that I have created using dynamic content and the advanced custom field. So this is a loop that I have created. In this loop, I can show the title of the blog post, featured image, and these are the custom fields that I have added in a loop. I'm using the advanced custom field plugin to create the custom fields for blog post. So these are the custom fields that I have created and it is showing on this type of blog post. This is a custom blog post that I have created to show the details of a car. So this is the name of the car. This is the short description and these are the custom fields of the car details that I want to show in the loop just like this. So on each custom post, we are going to add the car details, the price, year, odometer, fuel, color. And in this loop, it is going to show all these custom fields automatically using the loop builder. So let's see how we can use the loop builder in any WordPress website with the dynamic content and advanced custom field. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now we are going to use the loop builder for the dynamic content using advanced custom fields plugin. The plugin that I'm going to use for the loop builder is Spectra Pro plugin. You will see all these blocks are free to use. So these are the pro blocks that you can use when you install the Spectra Pro plugin. Let me show you the website. This is the website Spectra Pro. And as of now, while recording this video, this Spectra Pro plugin is free to download. So you can download this plugin and you can start using the loop builder of Spectra Pro plugin. I have created many videos on Spectra page builder plugin. I'll give you the links in the description box if you want to see those videos. So we are going to use the loop builder and the dynamic content feature of the Spectra Pro plugin. So let's go to one of the demo pages and we are going to create the loop builder. So let's go to pages and I have one demo page here. Let me open the demo page. This is a blank page and now we are going to create a loop builder. So click on the plus sign here and you will see all these Spectra blocks. Search for loop builder. So this is the block that we are going to use. Click on it. Let's close this one and you will see some templates, portrait layout, portrait layout to landscape box layout. However, we are going to create the loop builder from the scratch. So we are going to use this one create from scratch. Click on it. Okay. Now it will show three different columns here in the right hand side. You will see the settings for this loop builder. Now how many posts you want to show in a loop. So this will be three. So I'm going to keep it on three. If you want to show more than three, you can select the number of posts that you want to show in the loop builder. And this is order. If you go to content, you will see the content that you want to show. I have some posts that I want to show in the loop builder. So these are the three blog posts that I want to show and the category will be cars. So let's go back and I want to show the post. I want to show the category of cars. So I'm going to select this category. So only the content or the blog post from this category will be shown in the loop builder. So as of now, I'm going to select only one category because this is the only category which is using the custom field on this demo website. All right, so I have selected the content. Now let's go to the plus sign. And when you click on the plus sign, you will see the option of different elements that you can add. So I'm going to start with the heading. Now in this heading section, I want to show the name of the post So this. So this is the title of the post that I want to show. So I'm going to click on this dynamic content option. Click on it and the data source will be current post. And from here you will see post title. So select post title. If you want to link this to the blog post, you can enable the link and choose post permalink. So it is going to link to that particular blog post and click on apply. Now it says, please select the text before applying settings. So click OK and let's go back and select this entire text. Click apply. So once you click on apply, you will see the names of these blog posts here. So you can see these three blog posts and you will see the title of these three blog posts. 
so it shows underline so i am going to disable the link for now and click update now i want to customize i want to change the style setting so i'm going to select this one and in the right hand side you will see alignment to the center and a title tag will be let's say h3 subheading i do not have it separator if you want to add separator you can add the separator just below that style settings you can change the color let's change the color if you want to add text shadow you can add the text shadow if you want to change the typography you can change the typography of this title let's see i want to transform it to capitalize let's change it to uppercase so everything will be in uppercase this is for the separator link if you want to change the link color you can change the link color hover color highlight so these are the basic style settings of the title all right so i'm going to leave it as it is now just below that you can select this container now we need to add image just below this title so select the container and you will see the plus sign here click on it and select the option image now when you select the image you will see the settings in the right hand side and here you will see the dynamic content for the image click on it current post and I want to show the featured image so on each blog post we have this featured image and it is going to show the featured image here full size whatever size you want to select you can select the full size of the image fallback image if you do not have any image for the blog post it will show the fallback image now if you want to link this image with the blog post you can simply click on it and current post select post permalink and click apply and here click apply so you will see the images now if you want to mask if you want to use mask you can use the mask these are the different mask i'm not going to use any mask here these are the style settings you can change the width you can change the background color all right now below that i want to add one of the custom fields here so we have got four five different custom fields so we are, we are going to use these custom fields so click on the container again and you will see the plus sign click on the plus sign select heading and i do not want it that big so i'm going to change the heading tag to let's say p that is paragraph and here first i want to show the price first i want to show the price of this particular car so i'm going to type in price let's add some dummy price here let's say 1000 now i'm going to highlight the price and i'm going to to make it bold so the price this only only this section will be bold and i'm going to change the font size so from here you can change the size Let's say this one looks good to me now i want to show the price of each model each car here so this this number the thousand number will be a dynamic content so i'm going to select this dummy number and i'm going to click on dynamic content and it will be current post and from here i'm going to select post custom field choose field under choose field select custom input and for this particular field group we have the field name as price so i'm going to copy this one go here and in the meta key type in field key i do not want to link this one so i'm going to leave it as it is and click on apply now you will see the price has been changed and it is picking up the dynamic content this is the price of this particular car this is the price of this car and this is the price of this car if i go here this is the first car and this is the price you will see it here this is the car and this is the price so this is how it will show the dynamic content for the price now i want to add the next field that will be that will be the year so i'm going to click on the container click on the plus sign add heading and again i'm going to do the same thing let's go to general change it to paragraph and type in the name here year 
Now I'm going to select this block. Click on this one, copy style. Go to the second block and in the second block, click on paste style. So it will be the same size of this block. For the year, I'm going to type in some dummy content here and select this one. So this number will be replaced by the year. So click on dynamic content, current post, post custom field, custom input. And for the year, we have this field name, copy it, go here, enter the year in the meta key and click apply. So you will see the year dynamic content has been added. Now let's copy this one. Uh, let's duplicate this block and now we need to add next field will be odometer let's go back so here i'm going to type in odometer so this is the name of this particular field i'm going to delete this one and let's add something here some dummy content copy it go to dynamic content post custom field custom input and for the odometer we have this field name so type in the meta key and click on apply now it will show the dynamic content of odometer for each blog post now below that i want to add the read more so i'm going to select the container click on the plus sign and let's add button you will see two buttons here so I'm going to select one of the second button and I'm going to delete the second one. So we have one button here. Change the content, read more. Now for the link, you need to go to general tab, go to content. And here for the link, you can click on the dynamic content. It will be current post and post permalink. Click apply. So it will now link to that particular blog post. Let's see, I can select this one and let's align it to the center. All right, now let's select the container again. Let's add some border. Let's add solid one pixel. And you can change the border color also box shadow let's add this shadow so these are the basic style settings that you can change let's update this one and let's see how does this look click on view page and this is how it will look this is the title this is the image this is the price year order meter now you can change the spacing between these items let's go back let's go to the first option and let's go to style spacing and i'm going to add the top and bottom spacing let's say five pixel that will be good let's go to second add the spacing five pixel same for the third one all right let's click on update let's refresh it so you will see the spacing here Let's add the spacing for the button also. Let's add the margin updated. Refresh it. And this one looks good. So when I click on this image, it will go to that particular post. If I click on read more, it will go to that particular post. So this is how you can use the Spectra Pro Loop Builder for the dynamic content using the advanced custom fields. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.